Hello, it's Robert Miner with Dynamic Traders Group with their DT Trade Strategies for this coming week beginning December 21st. Of course, this coming week is a holiday week uh, with the Christmas uh, vacation time, uh, Christmas holiday time. So it'll be light trading this week, particularly on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. In fact, we wouldn't even recommend you initiate a trade in those days and even be very cautious the first part of the week. But let's take a look at the market position of a couple markets we've looked at recently as well as a couple uh, additional markets and if you like what you learn is you can apply it to any market any time frame you can get more information from my book high probability trading strategies and also you can check out our DT reports where we have trials from just $19 for one month uh, where you get daily updates uh, weekly videos and a lot of ongoing education okay let's get started last week we took a Detailed view of the dollar. Let's update that really quickly. This is the dollar weekly data we showed you last week, projecting that this past week was the ideal week to complete a weekly low and an end of wave five low, low in Elliott wave terms on a count down from the March high one to three, four, and five. Uh, and the weekly momentums had reached dual look back oversold uh, this past week. Uh, or, or two weeks ago, and this past week was week number three of dual look back oversold. And usually within four bars, we make a price reversal when a market gets dual look back oversold. So a couple things happened this past week that are significant. Uh, number one, we did come down a, as anticipated into the past week. We've reached the extreme of the typical end of wave four or end of wave five price target of the 162% external retracement of the wave four. So we're at extremes of price, extremes of time, extremes of momentum. So do we automatically go along? No, we're not forecasting. We're identifying trade opportunities. And I think there's a great opportunity coming up in the next two or three days. We have not made the reversal this past week. And let's go to the daily data. This is, by the way, uh, futures data, uh, continuous contract data. Um, on Friday, we had this narrow range inside day, and we did make a eight look back bull reversal on our DT oscillator. That's fairly significant. However, just as a experience and practical matter, usually trends don't end on an inside day. Inside days are always indecision days. So more than likely, we've got another day or two sideways or down before we complete that wave five of five. So again, on the weekly, this was the wave four high in November, and we've come down just a nice count in Elliott wave terms on one through four. So we're, we're probably at least near the end of the trend from the March high, and that would mean we would not just make what we call a weekly low followed by three to four week uh, correction. It's probably going to be longer than that and a greater degree in time and price than any correction since the March low. So at the very least, we're looking for a weekly low, three to four weeks of net bull trend sideways to up with a possibility of a higher time frame. Uh, trend up and a higher time frame correction. But again, the trade strategy is what's important. So what we're going to look for is a reversal signal early next week, such as <clears throat> uh, for uh, Monday anyway, if we traded above Thursday's high and closed higher on the day, that would be a solid confirmation of this momentum bear our bull reversal. Would not be at all surprised if we saw a new low Monday or Tuesday and then we made the reversal because again we typically don't make uh, finish off trends on inside days. Uh, the same it's the same with inside weeks. We typically uh, even if we're at maximum time and price if we make an inside week it's probably not the end of the trend. We probably have another bar or two to go. So that's just your wake up call for the dollar. We're almost there. We haven't had that reversal signal or confirmation yet, but I suspect we're going to have that next week and probably early in the week. Another market that we looked at last week was crude. So let's update that real quickly. This is crude weekly. Um, as of a week ago, the uh, 
day, or excuse me, the weekly momentums. We'll do a look back over bought warning that we're at or near a weekly reversal, a weekly high. And last week was actually the ideal week to complete uh, that weekly high. That's the was the week ending December 11th. Well, we continued higher this week, and what we didn't have is we didn't have a reversal signal. So as we always say, is that when we get to time and price and momentum targets for a potential reversal and to end a particular trend is that then we have to identify a specific uh, trade activity or pattern of a reversal and then the confirmation of that reversal. So we're almost there more than likely at least with crude oil and as I've had with our uh, subscribers every day of course we update this we had made the weekly bull reversal um, several days ago and then around Wednesday we reached dual look back over bought so again we're that's a warning we're within three or four bars typically at least of making a daily reversal and because the weeklies have been uh, met all their targets is that when we make it confirmed daily uh, bear reversal that should coincide with a weekly high and we haven't done that yet so we keep trailing up a, a reversal signal and typically when we get to extremes like this uh, I don't look for just a daily lower close what we call the two close reversal that's the ideal is that we have a reversal bar in this case a daily bar and it closes below the close of the past two bars or the two days so for monday for instance a close below 48.36 will uh complete or we should complete a daily high, which should and then coincide with a weekly high. So that's what we look for. If we happen to go higher on Monday or we don't close below 48.36, even if we close below Friday's close, is then we identify another reversal signal. So it keeps advancing as the market advances. But the thing to be aware of, we're in dual time frame date daily weekly momentums are both dual look back overbought they've reached that as of the middle of last week um, we're near extremes of time we've actually this next week or this past week was actually a week past the typical week uh, to make a reversal and as WD Gann said uh, you know many 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 years ago and I wrote a course about him over 30 years ago but he had some good general trading advice and and one is when time runs out change is inevitable well not, that doesn't necessarily pinpoint the time but, but when we've reached or exceeded what is typically the maximum time based on our high probability time factors then we're just constantly looking for that reversal signal that's what we're looking at now just above the market is 100 percent alternate price projection of each one of these advances uh, which were uh, one was 563 one 593 another exactly 593 and those are just above friday's high so again extremes of price extremes of time extremes of dual time frame momentum just be aware of that and when we do make that reversal we should then be sideways to down for three or four weeks it'll be a corrective decline not a bear trend to a new low by any means so correction of three or four weeks so again uh, be alert to that and be alert to our reversal signal that indicates that top has been complete so before we look at uh, everybody's favorite, the stock indexes, I want to just talk about one thing really quickly. And it's that uh, old market saying of buy the rumor, sell the fact. And uh, there's probably no time in recent history any, anyway that that's been more applicable than right now this past week and this coming week. Buy the rumor, sell the fact. So that the expectation for a very near-term stimulus or assistance bill of some significance has been holding the market up. So, of course, get the past stimulus, uh, all of that money that was the billions and billions, or I think it was over a trillion dollars that was handed out immediately went into the market to buy stuff uh, and to uh, solve a lot of uh, unemployment problems or, or at least alleviate them somewhat. So the point is we know that whenever this bill is passed, which is it is inevitable to be passed, is that that money is going to immediately go into the market. Um, however, we've anticipated this for weeks. Uh, so it's by the rumor 
and then sell the fact. It, I, I suspect as soon as this bill is passed, which is likely to be passed before Christmas, that's just another three trading days away, and uh, more likely it's probably going to be passed by this coming Monday, uh, is that um, it should coincide with a weekly high. So you look at the technical position of the market and that if there weren't, wasn't any of these news events going on and we looked at the market, we would say it's in a position and it has actually been for a couple, three weeks uh, to make what we call a weekly high and the potential for a monthly high. What's been holding the market up? Every piece of news that comes out is, is interpreted as positive. And of course, some of it is positive. But the big news is going to be when this stimulus bill is passed. That's probably already priced into the market. And so when we're at the extremes, the technical extremes, and there's a widely known news event coming up that would typically affect the market, you look at the technical extremes and say we're ready to make a top uh, of at least a few weeks. Uh, and more than likely, as soon as this news event is passed, is that's already priced in the market, and then uh, we'll, that will coincide with the top. For So just be aware of that and be a little cautious here over the next few days. And while it's going to sound very exciting when this bill gets passed, which I think is inevitable before Christmas, because, boy, if it doesn't, it's going to be a political and economic nightmare. So uh, there's some real... Uh, uh, possibility or probabilities is going to be passed next couple three days but be aware of that it's probably going to coincide with a fairly significant reversal so let's take a look at the technical position of the uh, stock indexes of course we'll look at the es it applies to all the indexes and see where they're at and let's look at it as if there is no news event coming up that everyone's aware of in the next two or three days that should be related to market reversals or trends. So here's the ES weekly data and the weekly momentums reached dual look back over bought three weeks ago. Usually within four bars, we make the price reversal. Um, two weeks ago, we may had a reversal week and we made a dual time frame momentum bear reversal. Now we were higher this week, but as I say in our newsletter, in daily newsletters, that when we make a momentum bear reversal, especially dual time frame reversal from the overbought zone, at the very least, it indicates that the continued upside should be quite minimum, and we should, within a bar or two, complete a price reversal. Well, the past week, I don't have the time factor showing here, but the past two weeks were very significant time factors uh, to complete a high. In fact, there were some of the extreme time factors. So once again, uh, when time is up, change is in inevitable. So basically, under normal conditions, this past week, time was up. However, we, we have this other force holding the market up and just take a look at these last few bars. Is this an impulsive bull trend? Is this something to be excited about? Well, it kind of is, yeah. We're, we're advancing over this time, but boy, that advance has really slowed down. And uh, we're losing the buying power here because uh, we'll have a, a week up and then a week down, a couple weeks up, one week down, another week up. Uh, so we're Something's holding this market up. The buying's coming in each time we have a minor correction. But what we want to be aware of is once that support, that buying power is alleviated and gets reduced, this market has a possibility of rolling over fairly significantly. So let's just be aware of that. Be aware that for the past two to three weeks, we've been at an extreme momentum cycle position to complete a top, and we usually do it within the fourth week. So we're getting real close to uh, probably making a weekly high and then being sideways to down for three or four weeks. Here's the daily data. And the daily momentum has made a bull reversal here early this past week. So usually uh, we, we have uh, uh, following a bull, dual look back bull reversal. We have at least three to five days sideways up, and that's exactly what's happened. So following this last bear reversal that we had uh, the prior week, and this is an outside three close reversal, that looked like a pretty good setup for probably 
uh, completing, we know that the weekly momentums had been overbought for a week or two as of this time. Well, all we did was went sideways to down for a few days, and then we had the bull reversal, and then we continued to a new high. So again, now we're near the extremes, and probably the extremes of price as well as time, as well as almost there with the daily momentums, not quite. The uh, eight just reached overbought on Friday, it's not dual look back overbought. Uh, that usually implies we've got at least another day or two, maybe even three sideways to up before we complete the high. Um, so we just want to be aware of that, but be aware we're near an extreme. Um, so it depends on your trading time frame on uh, how you want to adjust stops on long positions or if you'd want to consider a short trade. And I sure, certainly would not consider any short trade until after this stimulus bill is either passed or abandoned, regardless of the technical position. So be aware that uh, weekly momentum wise, we're near extremes where next week will be the fourth week of dual look back overbought. Uh, be aware that the daily momentum reached overbought on Friday. So again, that itself warns we're in two or three days from uh, completing a daily high, which should coincide with a weekly high. Um, be aware that we've reached the minimum target, 127% external retracement of what I got labeled this wave for. It'd be the September high into the uh, the lower part is actually late September. So that was a, a probable target zone. Of course, we reached it uh, two weeks ago also. So we've meet, reached the higher time frame price target, and we're just uh, just a few points Friday's high short of the lower time frame 127 percent external retracement so again time price pattern dual time frame momentum are all uh, all except the daily momentums and the short-term price target have reached extremes so at any time we could complete that reversal I suspect again it'll coincide within a day of any assistance bill uh, but what we want to do is, uh, no, regardless of that expectation, the market has to make its reversal. And again, right now I'm looking at a two close reversal will be the initial signal. Uh, we may be able to advance that a little closer to the market, but the point is that will be a reversal for a weekly high, more than likely, but it won't be confirmed until we close below the December 14th close. That's the last swing low close, but that would confirm a weekly high and then we'd be sideways to down for three or four weeks, possibly more, um, but that's for a discussion for another time. That's it for today. Robert Miner here, over and out. Stay safe. Help folks out. Contribute to uh, food banks or uh, other charitable uh, organizations uh, with some extra bucks if you got, because there's a lot of people who can really use some help right around this time. Uh, so take care. Be back with you next week.